Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about EOS. So this is a pretty interesting project. It's Go.io. This is the first digital gold decentralized exchange. And also, um, I will talk about Bitcoin as well. And just in case you are new to the channel, just to remind everybody that EOS Cafe is having an airdrop on December 25th, which is Christmas. Snapshot will be on December 21st. Make sure you transfer your EOS out of the exchange to the EOS account to qualify for the airdrop. Also, one of my viewers, uh, one of my subscribers, Asian Miracle, asking me how to claim the Tribe token. So you log into the Tribe uh, um, website and then you click airdrop and then you can claim the tokens. That will automatically go to your EOS account. And also EOS Bet is giving out uh, some dividends. This is a profit sharing platform. If you're interested, you can click the link below. That will help out my channel. Also, uh, Bad Dice is giving out a, a lucky draw. So you can just click lucky draw. And then this is basically they give out free EOS uh, every day. So you can check it out. Also, you can stake your additional token to earn additional payout and go to my balance to claim your payout once in a while. And this will automatically go to your EOS account as well. If you're interested, you can click the link below. So I will talk about Bitcoin in a second. Uh, let's talk about the interesting project uh, quickly. So this is uh, basically we talk about is a digital uh, gold decentralized exchange. It's a sister chain of EOS. And the, this is a GIO token. And the token is backed by gold asset. And uh, so decentralized exchange plus DAC. DAC is decentralized autonomous uh, community. And basically, they eliminate the middleman token holder will be the only custodial of the gold asset. So in terms of the funding schedule right now, uh, this is in phase one. For phase one, for uh, one EOS, uh, if you use one EOS, you can get uh, 206 uh, GIO token. So from December 13 to December 21st, for the second phrase, it will be 101 per 1 EOS. So 101 GIO token per 1 EOS, December 22nd to January 6th. For phase 3, um, for 1 EOS, you can get 97 GIO token from January 7th to January 26th. In terms of the airdrop schedule, the snapshot was already token, which is on December 13th. And in order to get the airdrop, you have to pay some fee this is a claim fee which is 3.236 percent 20 percent of the airdrop this is uh the phrase is seed uh, seed phrase and the airdrop day will be february 13 next year and different phrase you can claim you can uh, you have to play the claim free which is around three point uh, less than 3.3 percent and phase one two three four Four, five, and then the airdrop 11%, 13%, 21%, 22%, 13%. .13%. And also the fee type will be folding, and this is fixed. And the airdrop day will be July 28th next year, September 1st, October 6th, November 10th, December 15th. But in order to get the airdrop, you have to pay the fee. Um, so in terms of the platform, this is the features. And, and this is, um, so basically this is a, a liquid market for all the gold related token. This is an infrastructure and then they have a decentralized exchange for the, um, this is backed by a gold asset uh, for the token. And basically this is a dedicated pool of state security, decentralized exchange structure, eliminate all the middlemen and the community will be the custodial for all the gold investment. And another thing, um, this is governed governed by the community, decentralized autonomous community will eventually grant uh, grant all the power in the hands of the community. You have an arbitrator, you have block producer in the community, and also you have to vote just like the EOS community. You have to hold, uh, you have to vote. So the community will hold the vote, uh, hold the power to vote for the development of any number of multi-purpose uh, side chain, and 
uh, this project, it looks like they said is infinite scalability. In terms of GitHub activity, they have tons of activity. Uh, not not tons. They have some activity. December 10, um, November, they started from November 27, 18. And right now, it is getting less uh, commitment per day. In terms of the core team uh, developer, um, so this guy is doing C and C++, Java, C Sharp, and C, C, and C++. And then in terms of, this is a team leader, front-end developer, and also they have back-end developer, uh, full-stack developer, front-end developer. And uh, so they have a whole bunch of developer. Uh, I like the team to be strong in uh, technical background because at the very beginning, in order to implement the project, you need somebody with strong technical background and especially C and C++ because um, EOS is based on C++, right? So we need some hardcore programmer. So C++ is not, a, it's not, a, it's not an easy to learn programming language compared to JavaScript or Java. And um, so in terms of the roadmap, uh, smart contract development on Q4 2018, uh, Pre-funding and then airdrop snapshot is already done. December 13, Q1 next year it will be an airdrop for February 13 governance uh, documents. Decentralized beta testing on April 23rd, 2019 next year, and then Go.io testnet alpha alpha will be launched on May 23rd, and then the testnet beta version will be on June 23rd. Q3 uh, they're going to so they have different phrases of airdrop, this is the phase one, airdrop on July 28th, and the listing of Go.io on decentralized, on the DEX decentralized exchange, August 2nd, Go.io testnet launch, August 17th, airdrop free, uh, phase two will be September 1st, 2019. In terms of voting, uh, uh, phase one will be September 3rd, multi-sister chain communications, airdrop phase three, will be October 6. So this is the EOS sister chain project and um, the soft cap is uh, 121 uh, million and the hard cap is 570, 570, uh, 570 million GIO token and for the fees right uh, at at the time uh, for the central exchange, there will be no fees at the time. And this is basically a sister chain of EOS and they're going to build a decentralized high performance exchange. And also they have govern governance system that are developed, that are made by the community. They have arbitrator, block producer, listing and delisting fees, trading policy, fund distribution, and this is uh, the community, it's up to the community how they want to build this platform. And they said there's unlimited scalability because of the sidechain and all that. Um, so basically this is a go back stable coin, but, but I think they talk about it's backed by gold asset. Is that, I mean, gold asset can be anything. Gold asset can be future contracts of the gold. Uh, is it, just backed by the gold and the gold is stored in the Vogue. We don't know. We don't know the details on of that. And so basically it's a semi-autonomous EOS sister chain and also decentralized storage of any gold related token. You can use a single wallet and also you have a cross-chain uh, interoperability and any gold related project is evaluate, provide feedback and full for being traded by the go.io community and so currently tw twitter they have 558 uh, followers in terms of github i think they just created this 20 days ago in the github and um, let's see in order to be um, so you, if you want to join the community, there's two ways you can join. Uh, you can use EOS to purchase or use BTC or Ethereum to buy the GIO token. Or you can wait for the airdrop, but then the airdrop you have to pay a commission 3% at the first stage of the roughly above, I think it's 3 point, uh, less than 3.3% at the first stage of the airdrop. 
and um, so you can uh, so it, so so basically either you buy it uh, buy the token or you wait for the airdrop. Um, so let's look at the gold paper. <laughs> so side chain. Um, so basically, this is a sister chain of EOS, basically, and the sister chain uh, established in the future for different parts of the exchange. For example, all the book uh, updating, matching, settlement, and the community is the one who decide each uh, the process within the exchange, and then will be transferred on the uh, will be transferred on chain. If one of the system uh, sister chain uh, ceases to operate, its function will fall back to the EOS blockchain or to another sister chain. So therefore, there will be multiple sister chain to communicate with each other, and then the EOS uh, and EOS with similar cap uh, capacity. And this will be uh, governed by the uh, social uh, constitution. And uh, another thing uh, in terms of the uh, redistribution, uh, a portion of the fees on quarterly basis, like 21% of the fee collected every month, uh, will be used to buy back on the open market. Uh, for example, uh, airdrop token they give away, they're going to buy back those airdrop token during the funding campaign. Every month, another 21% of the fees from other than the trade against gold.io I, gold will be set aside in a charity fund on a quarterly basis, and then they're going to support one or multiple project listed subject to community voting and approval. And also the remainder will be um, distributed to as the worker proposal fund. And I think the community also can vote on that as well. Uh, in terms of the use of fundings, and don't forget the airdrop, you have to pay fee, like three, less than 3.3% to pay the airdrop. And in terms of use of funding, development 53%, operations 34%, the team is 10%, marketing is 2%, legal is 1%. I think it's uh, pretty, pretty cool that they put 53% on, on the development because some of the projects, I saw that the marketing is like almost 30 or 40%. I think this is pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, cool they do that because I don't like those uh, projects. They put so much on marketing because you have to build the build the uh, base of the platform. I mean, if you don't have a good platform, you don't, I mean, even though you have very good marketing, it's not going to go anywhere because you need a good product, a good prototype before you can even do marketing. So this is basically uh, the project. So let me know what you think about this Go.io uh, project. Seems to be, this is a pretty interesting project. But the thing is uh, they, um, the roadmap is next year until September. I mean, in terms of crypto, that is a pretty long uh, roadmap uh, because like even two to three months is pretty long in terms of crypto. But right now we're in a bear market, so we'll see how it goes. And um, my my take on this, I would just probably do the, I just wait for the airdrop. Uh, I, I think I have to figure out like 3% in terms of like how much you pay 3%, 3% of, uh, in terms of how many tokens you hold, you pay 3%. I think they need to clarify that. And also they talk about backed by gold asset. So I'm not sure what does, uh, like what type of gold asset they have. Is it backed by just gold or some other asset as well? And this is like a stable coin. Uh, in terms of uh, how they want to do because of set, there's so many volatility in the market, just crypto. If this is backed by gold, then it will be more stable in nature. Um, but sometimes gold can be volatile too, depending on uh, is there something else going on. So let me know what you think about this uh, gold.io project, and I would like to hear from you. So let's talk about uh, Bitcoin quickly. So yesterday, uh, yesterday I talked about the uh, BTC USD short position has been building up, and I suspect there will be maybe a pump. But then I forget to look at the BTC USD long position is also building up as well, and it's a little bit overextended. Uh, it's about the seventy uh, for the uh, RSI. So I'm suspecting there we um, this will be go back down pretty uh, pretty quickly, but uh, this is not financial advice. This is just my take on it. 
and this may go down uh, quickly and there may be a pump so before before this is uh, this is liquidating uh, there may be a decrease in price but I think this can go down pretty s uh, soon very quickly uh, as well I could be wrong too so once this can go down and this will keep on building up there will be a price pump and don't forget the CBOE future contract is going to expire on a Wednesday so anytime we are near the future contract expire become future contract expire there will be volatility in the market and every single time it's like that so in the next few days there will be some volatility and I suspect there will be a pump but I could be wrong too right but in terms of Ethereum definitely there's no more pump because uh, Ethereum the USD short position uh, has been is already uh, is already declining uh, so there's no reason to pump the position is already liquidated so uh, if you go to the Bitmax uh, liquidation bots right now they're liquidating long on uh, Bitcoin sell Bitcoin equivalent on Bitcoin sell Bitcoin so this is makes perfect sense because if you look at this um, this chart so you can see they they, they were liquidating long position and sell them and this will clean up and it may go down uh, quickly and let's see this is one hour ago liquidating long on Bitcoin sell Bitcoin uh, liquidating long on Bitcoin sell Bitcoin liquidating short on Litecoin uh, buy, buy Litecoin liquidating short on Litecoin buy Litecoin liquidating short on Bitcoin this is four hours ago um, so they will uh, buy back uh, Bitcoin. So I suspecting uh, once they liquidating the liquidating the long position, and then they will uh, they will they will pump the price of Bitcoin. So and I could be wrong too. So I don't know how far the pump will go. It may go it, will, it may go a little bit higher than expected, and we don't know actually. So uh, let's look at the whale watch again. So we'll watch a 35,000 Ethereum transfer from Kraken to unknown wallet. And then this is December 15, which is yesterday. There's a lot of movement from yesterday, right? December 15. Oh, that's not much. There's only two movement. So I think I'm expecting there will be a lot of movement in the next few days because of the CBOE Bitcoin future contract is going to expire on Wednesday. And this is, I think this is the same transactions. 1624 BTC transfer from unknown wallet to Bitfinance. And I think from Bitfinance to unknown wallet, I think this is the same thing. So at the end, so I don't know if there's a lot of wash trading. They want to pump up the volume and all that. You never know. Because they're transferring like this, maybe a wash trade, I don't know. So let me know uh, what you think about the upcoming CBOE future contract is going to expire. Do you think there will be uh, volatility in the market? Do you think there will be a price pump or there will be a price dump? Let me know what you think about the upcoming uh, CBOE future contract is going to expire. I would like to hear from you. Uh, that will be interesting to see how this play out in the next few days. And... If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channels. Also share with your friends as well. So just uh, smash the like, subscribe, share with your friends. That will help my ranking in YouTube. And I will continue to provide quality video for you guys. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. And if you have already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell button so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop token swap or giveaway because uh, that can be time sensitive in terms of token swap or airdrop. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency or ICO has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.